I want all three. Ooh, Ashley. Hey, ooh, Ashley. Hey. Hey y'all, it's your girl Shay Shay back with another video. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ashley. As we can see by the title of this video, I'm going to be reviewing and unboxing this beautiful kinky straight headband wig. Before I hop into the video, I do want to make a disclaimer that an Amazon seller did contact me and send me this wig for free. This video is not sponsored, so I am going to be giving you my honest opinion on this wig. I'm going to be unboxing it and giving you my first impressions and also giving you my real and raw review on it. As you can see, I really do like the wig, but I do have a few opinions on it and I will be very honest about it in this video. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Ashley and I do post videos twice a week. Typically, I post a lot of content, but I do post a wide variety of topics such as beauty, lifestyle, fashion snake and piercing videos so i do have a wide variety of categories on my channel if any of those interest you please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe down below to join the family and without further ado let's hop into this wig review hey so i am so excited to be unboxing and reviewing this wig for you today it is unopened i have not opened it at all i waited just for this moment to show you exactly what is in this packaging to show you exactly what is in here before i even get to see it myself because i love you guys that much i will enter all the information for the wig right here on the side of the screen just so you know exactly what is in this package right now just in case you do want to go out and purchase it yourself so here is the wig it's in this really nice little plastic bag so instantly when you open it up it has these four headbands it is a headband wig if i didn't mention that at all but it has a leopard print one a zebra print one this red one with little flowers on it and then it has like this dark blue one with flowers on it next they do send you a wig cap it is going to be like the standard color one so if this were like a lace print or something i would have to put like foundation or something on it but with headband wigs you can't even see the wig cap so it honestly really doesn't matter and lastly the star of the show is going to be the wig this is a 22 inch kinky straight wig so i'm really excited to try this on and see what it's about here it is and all of its long glory and and whatnot it's actually really soft and it doesn't seem to be like tangling at all so far it does shed a little bit that is what I was trying to do I was like it's not really shedding but it does shed a little bit off of my first little impact it also comes with this little paper inside to keep the shape of the headband wig and it has a little tag right here that I'm gonna cut off I'm gonna brush through the wig as well just to see if there's any like issues with shedding or anything like that. So as you can see, there is a little bit of shedding in the wig just off first impression. This is a synthetic wig, but honestly it feels really realistic and it's really nice and soft. I feel like with any wig, there's going to be some shedding. So I'm not like too, too worried about that, but that is something you may want to think about. It does have four combs in it, which I really like actually. So it has a comb in the back, two on the side, and then one in the front which is really nice because I have locks I do not use the combs on my wig so I honestly rely heavily on these adjustable straps so this is going to be the true test because I do not like putting combs into my locks for obvious reasons so I will not be using the combs okay so I am going to put on one of these wood caps and we're going to see what's up with it this cap is a little tight and it is like ripping as you can see so if you got a big head or a lot of hair <laughs> i don't know about these wig caps it did cover my hair though it looks really nice and really flat so i do give it a 9 out of 10 for the wig cap okay so here is the headband wig i'm about to put it on right now So one thing I'm always concerned about, because I actually have a pretty big head, I'm always concerned if the wig is going to fit my head or not. Honestly, it seems like this wig is fitting my head pretty nicely because I have a big head, usually like a lot of hair at the same time. So y'all already know it's hard for me to find wigs that actually fit. Okay, so here is the wig. It's really big and really voluminous. I may end up cutting this because as you can see, it's really long and I don't know how I feel about the length of it. They had a shorter one, but I got this one just because I wanted to have options. Like if I decided to cut it, I could, but I didn't want to just go with the shorter one. Honestly, my favorite headband is going to be this leopard print one. So I'm going to try this one on with the wig. 
lie, I like this. Like, it's a little big, honestly. But I feel like like this could actually be my natural hair, you know? Y'all can't even lie, this looks cute on me. Like, it looks like I just blow dried my hair. Like, I'm getting ready. Like I said, the only thing I am concerned about is, like, how thick this is. Like, this is super thick and super long. I have, like, mixed feelings about it, but overall, I do like it. I'm gonna, like, style it a little bit to see what I can do with it. On the website, I saw, like, a half up, half down. So I'm gonna try to do that right now. Something I really love about this hair so far is it's really soft. Yeah, this is cute. This is cute. Like this looks like I've been growing my hair out since I was five years old and this is just down my back and went like, okay. Y'all did that, I'm not gonna lie. I really like this wig. I'm gonna try to do a bun too. Like I'm gonna put all the hair in a bun and let's see how I feel about that too. When I tell y'all I'm loving this wig, I mean that. Like, look at this high pony. Mm. Okay, let's figure out this bun. Period. I love this so much. Like, I haven't seen myself with a bun in so long. Since I got my locks, like, I'm not able to do this anymore. This is giving me natural hair vibes. I know y'all can see everything in the back, so I have to, like, figure out how to make that look a little better back there. But this is giving me, like, pre-lock natural hair vibes, and I'm loving every second of it. Like, I love this wig so much. Only thing I will say so far about it is I don't like how thick it is when it's, like, all down together. I'm not feeling the thickness of it because it just doesn't look real. But in all the other styles that I did, the thickness comes in clutch. I also wish that they would have sent me a black headband because typically when I wear wigs, I like to wear a black headband just because it's like coherent, you know, it blends in and all that good stuff. Like, I don't know if y'all can tell, but it just looks like super thick and unnatural. And I really don't like that when it's all the way down. But when I do my little styles with it, that's a whole nother story. <laughs> I'm gonna try on the other headbands with you guys as well, just so you can see what they look like. We got Miss Zebra showing out and going out. Okay, we got Miss Red Floral ready for a sunny day at the park. Okay, and lastly, we have Miss Blue Floral. She didn't come to play, she wants to match every auntie sundress this summer. Like, come on now. Overall, I'll give this wig an 8.5 out of 10. The reason I'm not giving it a full 10 is just because it is shedding a little bit, and as you can see, it does tangle a tad bit easy. Also, I feel like the hair is a bit thick, like, I could add layers into this. I can shorten it, but I feel like I shouldn't have to do all that. Also, I wish that it would have came with a black headband because I feel like a lot of people would have liked that option. But overall, it is a really nice wig. It does emulate kinky straight really nicely. Like, I feel like this could actually be my natural hair. And honestly, it is heat resistant, so you can go in and straighten this some more. You can curl it on a low heat that's good for, like, synthetic wigs. So I do give it a plus for that. Also, it was packaged super nicely. It was really pretty, really organized. And the hair is really nice and really soft, and it looks good when you style it. It fits my big head which is a plus. All my big headed ladies out there, I feel for you. This is going to fit your head, okay? Overall, I really do like this wig. There are just a few flaws that made me give it an 8.5 out of 10. Okay, y'all, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. You are a real one if you are still watching right now. Since you're still here, please comment down below the crab emoji. I will pop it up on the screen right here just so you know exactly what I'm talking about. You are a real one for watching all the way through. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe down below to join the family. And without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.